So this question says, in the standard XY coordinate plane, so I'm gonna stop there because I think for me, anytime I see a question that starts out with in the standard XY coordinate plane, but there isn't an XY coordinate plane provided, I want to draw my own XY coordinate plane, right? So this falls under the category or strategy that I call plug in picture, right? Which is just uh, anytime a question describes something that can be drawn, it is worthwhile to draw it. So here's my XY plane. What is the midpoint of the line segment that has endpoints 3, 8? So I'm going to mark out 3 on my X axis, and I'm going to do my best to make my Y axis markers equidistant to how I marked the 3. So that's a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I'm just doing my best to get it as perfect as I can. Uh, because that makes the the drawing more useful for me. So there's 3, 8, and 1, negative 4. So I already have 1, but let's go down to negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's negative 4. So here is 1, negative 4. So my line is here. And the midpoint, I know, has to be somewhere in this area, right? So let's check out our answer choices. So choice A says negative 2, negative 12. Well, negative 2 and negative 12 is way down here. So that's nowhere close to where we want it. B says negative 1 and negative 6. Well, negative 1 and negative 6 is way down here. So that's also nowhere close to where we want to be. C says 11 halves. Well, what is 11 halves? 11 halves is... 5.5, and don't forget you can use your calculator. 5.5 and negative 3 halves is negative 1.5. So 5.5, well, that's 4, 5, 6. So 5.5 is here, and then negative, this is going to be down here somewhere. So again, nowhere close to where I want it to be. 2, 2, so this is 2, this is 2, this is here, right? It's close. It probably is the correct answer, so it's at least in the right area. And then 4, negative 12, I'm at 4, and again, negative 12 is way down here. So it must be choice D, and I answered that strictly on a visual basis using this plug-in picture strategy. Now, of course, there's a mathematical way to do this. There is um, a midpoint formula, and arguably, if you know the midpoint formula, you'd be able to answer this question much faster. Um, but the midpoint formula is just, it's the average of the x values from the endpoint. So x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, the average of the y values from the endpoints. So divided by 2. So my x values, right, were 3 and 1. So I just say, well, that's 3 plus 1 over 2, which equals 4 over 2, which equals 2, right? And then my average for the y values, my y values were 8 and negative 4. So I just say 8 plus negative 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 4 over 2, which is also equal to 2. So again, my ordered pair would be 2 comma 2. So again, confirming what I saw visually that 2 2 is the correct answer.